Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Try not to be totally distracted by my beauty and my swollen eyes. I had a dream last night that I was on an airplane because I'm flying to Fargo, North Dakota next week to speak at an event. And anytime that I know I have to fly, I get very anxious after the plane crash. And anyway, I had a dream that I was flying and out the window, I saw a plane going to Miami and I watched it crash. And it just, I woke up in the middle of the night, I couldn't go back to sleep. It was just like one of those dreams that was so real that you wake up and you're like, okay, wait, what, did that just happen or was I dreaming? So anyway, um, that stunk. Um, so I just watched a video, by the way, of Billy Joel doo-wopping. Now I grew up, my mother was a huge doo-wopper. Okay, is that a thing? Doo-wopper? I don't know. But if it is, she was. My mother loved doo-wop. I love hip-hop. My mother loved doo-wop. Who knows what my kids will love? Boppity bop. Um, so I grew up listening to doo-wop. I grew up listening to like do up I don't know you don't want me to sing I was gonna sing you one but I'll spare you anyway I recognized do up immediately my mother ordered <laughs> my mother ordered the tapes off the infomercial like 60 years of do up whatever and it's like six tapes like actual cassettes and she would be like Jamie get my cassette get my do up put it on I'm gonna listen to some do up <laughs> And I'd be like, all right. Anyway, I just watched Billy Joel do up for the longest time on a commercial break at Jimmy Fallon. I'm going to post a video for you guys later. I don't know, for all, any of you who grew up with do up or parents who loved it or whatever, it brings me back to the 80s when my, you know, my dad was still alive and we were kids and my parents were so happy and, um, oh, this hair. Anyway, it was awesome. So I just, I, it made me very happy after a crazy, horrible dream. Um, but so I wanted to talk to you guys about something. So Clay Aiken last night was tweeting about American Idol, like really mean tweets, right? Um, these judges stink, these judges are old, these judges are boring, no wonder the show has no ratings, where's Simon when you need him, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, these judges are a lot kinder than Simon, and part of the reason pe people did tune into Idol was because Simon was, like, unpredictable and blunt. I get it, but I want to talk about the bigger issue here. Clay Aiken is one of, he's in a small fraternity of people who have been through the experience of American Idol. He was the runner up to Ruben. Um, he's incredibly talented. He's had a great career. His voice is, forget it, bananas. Yet here he is so full of disdain and anger. Some people would look at the situation and go, don't bite the hand that bit you. Why are you so negative? Clearly you're jealous, blah, blah, blah. The way to take the next step in the human connection is to see somebody crying out in pain, which is what he was doing. Some people would say it's attention. I would say a lot of times they are the same thing. In the human connection, the next step is to reach out and go, you are, you're clearly in pain. Let's talk about it. Let's see if we can help you. Looking at someone and going, oh, you're just jealous. Oh, you're a waste. You're a loser. Whatever. Get off the internet. That does nothing to help somebody in need. I can imagine, now I'm not Clay Aiken, but I can imagine that lending yourself to a TV show for ratings, putting yourself out there, it's all sounding oddly familiar, um, and then feeling completely disregarded after, as if you were just one of the thousands, is hurtful. 
In fact, if I'm being completely honest, I'm speaking from experience. It is hurtful to put yourself out there in any situation, TV or not, and give everything you have and believe people when they say, we are going to take care of you. And then when it no longer suits them, they drop you like a hot potato. That is incredibly hurtful. People can say you knew what you were signing up for. People can say nothing lasts forever. People can say whatever they want to say. And the truth is this, until we start putting our arms around each other and comforting each other, instead of saying, not my problem, you knew what you were signing up for, we are ignoring the human connection. We are essentially failing at what we were created to do. I know what I signed up for with Jersey Bell. I know that I knew despite the thousands of promises from Bravo that they didn't want the show to be another train wreck and girls fighting and blah, blah, blah. And they loved me and I was a breath of fresh air and blah, blah, blah. I knew that there was a good chance they were going to drop me like a hot potato if I didn't turn over and do what they wanted me to do. Even though I knew it, it didn't make it hurt any less. And this coffee talk is not about Jersey Bell. You do not have to defend the show. You do not have to tell. I'm telling you, this is about people hurting. People who give themselves to others and are hurt in the process, are left in the process. It is no different than a woman who gives 20 years of her life to a man who then leaves her for the next best thing, whatever, or a man who gives himself to a corporation or a company and when he gets too old, they fire him and hire someone younger for a lot less money. These things hurt. So I'm watching Clay Aiken last night lash out at the show that built him. But I'm looking at it as also, it is a show that he helped build. Let's not forget the workers on the ark. Let's not forget the workers in Apple. We like to go, oh, Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs. Yeah, Steve Jobs didn't build Apple by himself. There are workers who help contribute to the success of whatever. We are all workers in something. We are all giving of ourselves, of our energy, of our, of our life to something. And to have people make you feel like you are not significant. To have the people on Idol talk about Carrie Underwood and Kelly Clarkson over and over again. I, get, I love Carrie Underwood. I will sing Carrie Underwood until the cows come home and nobody loves Kelly Clarkson like this girl. I get it. But I also love Taylor. I also love Ruben. I also love Constantine. I look back at some of the people who are my closest friends came from Idol. I, you know, Clay Aiken was a huge part of that franchise for them. They replayed his audition over and over and over his season and the next because he didn't look like his voice sounded. He was the first uh, contestant whose voice didn't match his body. And it was a very, it was an anomaly for Idol at the time. And it was a big deal for them. And Clay was a big deal for them. So to watch a franchise come to a close and they don't even mention your name is hurtful. Hurtful. In anything that you give of yourself, yes, you should be prepared to get zero in return. It doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't make it hurt any less. And I will strive to be the person who sees somebody making significant efforts anywhere in their life to contribute to something and be the person who puts my arm around them and goes, I think you're fantastic. And we couldn't do this without you. At the magazine, we have interns. Every Monday at staff meeting, we are telling them constantly, you earned your seat at this table. We cannot do this without you. This is not a Jamie and Laura thing and you guys are lucky to be here. We literally at the, are at the mercy of your talents. I tell my husband the same thing. I could never, never do what I do and be the mom that I am and run this house the way I do without you. This life does not work without you. Could I be a single mother? Yes, if I had to but I don't want to. And 
everybody's contribution matters. So when someone is hurting, when they are crying out for attention, it is because they're in pain. How would you treat somebody if they came to you with their arm hanging off or a bone sticking out? If someone was in pain, you would go to them. It is the same thing with emotion. So when somebody acts out, look deeper than just you want attention. What is hurting them? Something to think about. I love you guys so much today. I love you. Have a great day.